Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women, threatening them with a 1 in 8 chance of developing the potentially deadly disease. Chemotherapy, multiple surgeries, and unfathomable anxiety can accompany each case, creating an almost insurmountable emotional and physical gauntlet. We're their only a way to reduce the tribulations of combating this tissue-destroying killer. Companies like Perimeter Medical Imaging AI, PINK.V, are positioning themselves to do just that. With the firm's groundbreaking Otis platform, Perimeter is working to help surgeons ensure all cancer's material has been removed on the first surgery, eliminating the need for further operations and possibly reducing mortality rates. Equity Guru's own Reza Golzadeh sat down with Jeremy Sabota to get details on Perimeter, its novel offering, and the investment possibilities of its potentially life-saving pipeline. The med tech industry is one that not a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, do you mind giving me a quick synopsis of the industry and Perimeter for the audience watching this video? Certainly, yeah. So Perimeter Medical Imaging AI is an early stage medical device company. We are uh, a medical imaging company that is focused on the approximately $3.7 billion specimen imaging market. And specimen imaging takes place in a, in a wide variety of clinical applications, but our focus is on really the continuum of care within cancer surgery. So our technology would apply uh, really anywhere where a surgeon is surgically removing a tumor. And we believe that uh, you know, our proprietary imaging technology, plus some very exciting product development efforts we have ongoing, has the potential to really revolutionize cancer surgery going forward. Now, your recent news has been predominantly related uh, to the initiation and also the expansion uh, of the Atlas AI project, which means you'll be installing your FDA cleared products, Otis, at your partnering clinics. Can you briefly explain what that means? Yeah, so that's exactly the, that's the uh, exciting pro product development efforts that I mentioned. So the Atlas AI project, we will actually not be installed, installing in the FDA cleared version of our device. It's a investigational device that's under development. Uh, and the purpose of the Atlas AI project is to, uh, well, part one is to collect an additional up to 400 patients worth of data to further train and test our artificial intelligence algorithm. Uh, so this is a machine learning algorithm that overlays our existing uh, specimen images and it tells a, a prospective surgeon, uh, a particularly a breast oncologist to say, you know, it highlights uh, areas suspicious of containing breast cancer cells in the image. So it really gives them a Google map to say, uh, you should review this area in the margin of the tumor you've removed, which is a key indicator for breast cancer recurrence risk. So by the artificial intelligence uh, highlighting those areas during the operation, it enables the surgeon to take additional action on that patient and prevent future you know, a, a costly and inconvenient, a complicated second surgery for that patient. So that's part one. Part two is uh, a randomized, multi-site randomized control trial uh, where we will be testing the algorithm for both clinical effectiveness and to show the impact of the economic impact on, on both uh, you know, providers and payers from reducing the, the reoperation rate within lumpectomies, which today is anywhere from you know, kind of 20 to 25% of patients have to come back for a second surgery because of that uh, margin issue I discussed. Jeremy, similar companies to you have had success via evangelization and building relationships globally and within North America. Now, do you mind expanding on some of the key relationships Perimeter has in place? Obviously, MD Anderson is a significant one. Uh, being ranked as uh, number one in cancer care recently by U.S. News. Could you give us an update about your commercialization plan? So first and foremost, the technologies attracted great leadership at the board. Additionally, the management team, you know, right, the, the life cycle that Perimeter is at, and you mentioned our commercialization efforts, we are uh, at an inflection point where we're shifting from purely product development to a full-scale, full-fledged commercial organization. And the folks that are joining at this point in our life cycle 
skeptical come from you know long histories in medical devices. So uh, I myself joined from over a decade in you know orthopedics medical device companies, so Stryker and Smith and Nephew, and you know have over my career I've deployed about you know over four billion dollars in capital, looking at companies very similar to Perimeter and you know, a couple of which, you know, in the breast cancer surgery space. So uh, again, knew it was a big market, knew they were solving a, a widely acknowledged problem and really kind of viewed jo joining perimeter through the eyes of a strategic acquirer saying, you know, this company has a lot of growth potential uh, and, you know, I, the, the market cap is, is there to be, to be had. Uh, and then from a clinical efforts, uh, you know, the speaking of evangelists from a clinical side, you know, to, you mentioned MD Anderson Cancer Center, uh, you know, they're the principal investigator on our uh, part one of our Atlas AI project. Uh, you know, the volume and the, the prestige with which working, working with that organization brings is fantastic. Part two of the Atlas AI project is kind of spearheaded by uh, Dr. Alistair Thompson from Baylor College of Medicine. We have a currently FDA cleared device, as you mentioned in the beginning of the interview, that we will be commercializing uh, you know, in the very near future. We're on the cusp of commercializing that. And that will be targeted uh, for the what we're calling the early adopter market. So we see a path to really penetrate the, the top 500 hospitals that are doing, you know, more than 100 lumpectomies a year. So it's kind of a two-phased uh, commercialization approach. So this, this very large early adopter market, which, uh, you know, if we got an installed base of 500 uh, units, for example, we can see that from those 500 units, we'd have an annualized uh, recurring revenue from our very high margin consumables of you know, approaching $50 million a year. Uh, and then once we have the artificial intelligence algorithm cleared, we will be, we see that as uh, really uh, contracting the adoption curve and we'll be able to access the broader, the broader market and it will really uh, you know, democratize our technology for all different kinds of surgeons to use without needing to be quite as imaging savvy. Thank you for that insight, Joan. That was wonderful. Always great talking to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.